Sarah with uh, House Copper and this is episode eight of Coppersmith Cook and the House of Copper. Today I am doing just a little bit about harvesting since we're getting to that time of year and we just had a frost so I'm really glad that I was handling some of the harvesting after this video was taken. Um, but we're doing that and we're doing just a little tiny shot video of a how to identify whether or not you have an actual piece of copper or not, which is always good to know. And lastly, because we will be in the garden harvesting and talking about onions, I am making a multi onion soup. I think I use four or five kinds of onions and uh, it'll be kind of fun and it'll be easy. And so here we go. Episode eight of Coppersmith How do your onions grow? So we have actually hiding and you can't see them, but we have leeks going deep in there. And then we have some um, yellow or white onions and then which are there and then some walla walla onions and sweet onions. And then at the very end are the uh, red onions. So the reason I do so many onions for a small family of which the kids eat very few are big and in part because they store really well on a single layer in a well ventilated basket. Even if you stack the baskets, as long as they have ventilation on all four sides, they store really well. And you should, you know, this will have probably enough for our winter. We won't have to buy onions at all. And not that they're expensive, it's just nice to know where they grew and, um, you know, it's a extra savings. So um, also it makes for really good onion soup. I mean, I've got four kinds of onions in my garden and so I can make four onion soup and um, you can't go wrong with onion soup, which is what we're going to make today. So you can see the recipe. Today we're going to do a really short video because all I want to do is show a visual of how to know whether or not your copper is really copper or it's fake copper. Um, I actually just this week got three pieces in and none of them are copper. So I have to send them back. Um, but that's fine. I mean, some people don't, it's hard to know if you don't know what to do. So that's what, what this video is for. So this is a magnet from my refrigerator um, and copper has no magnetic pull at all. That's why it doesn't work on certain, on certain stove stops. But like, this is real copper, no magnets, but, this was sent to me for repairs, to get soldered up, to have um, everything brazed. And when I took it out, I went, oh dear, there's rust. So if there's any rust spots, that's giveaway number one. But it also does look copper. And unfortunately, you know, there's vertigra in there, which is a sign of copper. Um, that's that green stuff. And so to the, you know, to the eye, it looks like copper. And sometimes these really are copper. So it's, you know, if there wasn't rust on this, I would have immediately gone, oh yeah, okay, it's a big copper basin um, because of the vertigra, but the rust on the cover was giveaway number one. The second and most obvious one is this. It's magnetic. So if you aren't sure, you uh, take a magnet and check it against your copper. It may just be tin plate that's been plated with copper it may be steel that's been spray painted with like a copper spray where there is enough copper to create that green vertigra, but it will rust and it will not be able to be repaired by a coppersmith. I can't braze this. It won't braze, it won't solder. Um, it's unfortunately, uh, it's a cool antique, but it's not repairable by a coppersmith because it's not copper. Okay, I'm cleaned up from the shop. It's a little chillier out now, and actually I found some of the biggest onions so we can do onion soup for um, this last component of the evening. I'm going to be using one of my copper stock pots. It's a really crappy one with aluminum rivets, and it's just something I have, so I have a bigger copper um, piece that I can do soups and stews in. And I'm gonna be using at least four kinds of onions I might throw in a fifth, but really the beauty of this recipe is you can use any kind of onion you have. Um, there's really no wrong because you're going to be cooking it ahead of time with water um, and releasing the juices of the onions before you add in any of the broth and seasoning. 
I'm uh, gonna have um, some minced fresh uh, garlic from a farm up the road in here and fresh, fresh thyme from the garden harvest that way. And then of course, just some vegetable broth. And really this just comes down to seasoning. It's a really healthy soup. You can add other vegetables if you really, really want to, but otherwise it's kind of like a riff on French onion soup, but a little bit of a healthier version, but it still tastes just the same, just not quite as rich with all the butter and things like that. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here is um, some onion soup. Coppersmith Cook and our House of Copper. As always, um, the recipe for the onion soup is below and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn more about anything copper or cookware related, you can um, check out my blog at housecopper.com or you can pick up a copy of Copper, Iron and Clay, um, which is the book that I had come out in April. The link for that is below and all my social links are below, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, ideas based on what you saw, please let me know in the comments below too. I always like to see what people say and think. And um, in the meantime, have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next time. Till then, take care.